Um, Maisie Rose Courtney, yeah. Is that like what you want to be called or just Maisie Rose? You, you, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> All right. This is Jolie here for Seconds Out. For the first time joined by Maisie Rose Courtney. We have a lot to talk about. First time on the channel. And uh, yeah, it's good to speak to you. Thanks for taking the time. We can see you've picked a, a good right. location for this interview. The Wi-Fi seems all right. I'm in the wilderness <laughs> somewhere. Don't really know, but yeah, near. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the main thing. Um, so why don't you start off by introducing yourself? What national titles you've won? Obviously, still amateur at the moment, but your plans for the future. Let's just start simple. Yeah, what what you've done so far in boxing. So I've been boxing since I was seven. Um, I went at the end of my career of boxing for the I won six national titles and in is 10 finals. It? <laughs> it's easy, is that it? Do you know what I mean? 10 finals, um, box for England, turning professional, just got my license to turn professional, waiting to sign something, waiting to sign something. And yeah, that's it really. Yeah, okay. that's a big step in your career to turn pro now. What was the... What was the thought process? Obviously, you've been at Repton, you're at Matchroom Gym now, which is a great place to turn pro at. Do you know what it was? If I didn't get into the Matchroom Gym, I probably wouldn't have done it. Do you know what I mean? I felt like I couldn't turn it down. I was like, like the first female to box out of there, the first, you know, like, I would be silly. I'd be silly to turn something down like that. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I've always felt better in the pros, like the pro style and all of that anyway. So, yeah. What's yeah. the what's the road then to getting the pro debut? We know Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, obviously. It's the Matchroom gym. Is that the most likely place that you'll start your pro career? Or I'd hope so. That's the dream. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to sign with anyone else, really. Like, Eddie loves women's boxing. Like, if it's, if you know what I mean I wouldn't want to sign with someone like Frank Warren or someone like that because they, they don't care they don't care about women's boxing so. and I'm in the matchroom gym so it kind of makes sense <laughs> yeah exactly um, when you started obviously you just said you were seven there we see people like Katie Taylor Caroline Dubois who had to pretend they were boys when they first went into the gym what was it like for you? so it was a little bit more difficult. Like I wasn't allowed to fight. I'd had my first fight at 15. So I was boxing like a good eight years before wow. I'd had my first fight. Do you know what I mean? And that in itself, I think, I, I see it as a good thing because I had eight years of experience going into my first fight. So, but it was annoying. Like all the boys, all the boys would come in and I'd just get carded straight away and they'd be fighting in six weeks. Do you know what I mean? And, but it, there's no one around at, at times anyway. But mm -hmm. yeah. It is what it is, really. It's getting better now. Do you know, it's getting better. There's more girls to box or whatever, but back then there's no one. No one. And are you from Essex? No, no, I'm from South East London. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm from Essex. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> accent is, I'm from Birmingham, so I wouldn't know. But why have you, no. why did you get into boxing? Because a lot of people would, I, I was going to say everyone would want to be in Towie or something, not not be a boxer no, like, what not, was it I, I, don't, I don't know if I should take offence to that or not but <laughs> I'm not from Essex and it wasn't I don't want to be in Towie or anything like that but <laughs> what it was I was a footballer and I used to play football I used to do two alongside each other mm. and when I was younger I wanted to get fit for football because do you know what I mean and then above my football club was the boxing club and all my best mates were going there and whatever it just makes sense to go there do you know and mm -hmm. That was it, really. I turned out being quite good at it. Being like picked up quite quickly, and I started enjoying it. To my mum's like shock, she couldn't believe it. Like a little girl was like enjoying beating people up or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, and it got to a point where I had to choose one or the other, and I chose boxing. Yeah, of course. If you were to choose football, you might have been in the Euro semis, like right now. So I might have been, but I'm not. But <laughs> <laughs> might have been. But yeah, so what's the what's the kind of focus right now? Is it just training with no date? No, are you going to wait to turn pro with Eddie? Is that your game plan? Or are you going go to go to do some York call shows with a smaller promoter? No, no. I want to, like, the dream is to sign with Eddie. If, like, that's, that's, that's what, do you know what I mean? That's what my dream is. And I wouldn't want to, if I thought I could sign with anyone else, I wouldn't bother the turning over, do you know what I mean? In like the, like the nicest possible way, like 
that's the dream. I'm just I'm just waiting and just waiting to see what happens. I'm playing the waiting game really. Yeah. And just working on my craft, working on the pro stuff, working on this, working on that, taking day by day. Do you know what I mean? And whatever happens, what happens. That's it. Just waiting around. And for the people who aren't yet aware, what weight class are you gonna turn over in? Oh. So um I'll probably start off at like flyweight. Yeah. Ones. Quite like, see what happens. Undisputed at that weight. Start off <laughs> the weight. Beat up on there. Might go into Bantam, hype it up a little bit. Why not? Everyone's there anyway, isn't there? So, yeah. Going to Bantam, maybe. Yeah. See what happens. It's, yeah, whatever it is, it is. I'll, I'll box it anyway. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I don't really care about stuff like that. I don't care about gaining weight, losing weight, whatever. If there's someone there and they want to box me and I want to box them, I'll be that way. That's yeah. good. Okay. Um. Quickly on Connor. Obviously, it seems near enough now. Donnie's going to be fighting Chris Eubank Jr. You know what would be like a historic fight. Um. I know you're going to back Connor. You're fighting out of the same gym, etc. But like, what does that fight mean to? What will that mean to the gym and just to boxing? Because there's such a big story behind it. It's de- it's definitely if it happens, it'll definitely be a big fight. You know what I mean, it's definitely not like one for the legacies, one for like the old times or whatever. But people are stupid to think that Eubanks even got a chance. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, even if I weren't boxing out of the same gym as Connor, I'd be saying the exact same thing, you know? Like, let's just go back on the last five fights of what each of them have had, you know? Like, and he's going up weights and all. Eubanks coming down. It's like, it's a good fight. It's a good fight for legacy. <laughs> he's, got to make up, he's got to make up for his dad, though, not he? So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you seen the whole kind of uh, meme about Connor? Um, what's what's the the phrase? And he's like, "I'm um, I'm grafting in the gym. I'm grafting in the gym." Is it true? Oh. Every every session is so intense for Connor. Yeah, he, he, I've never <laughs> seen anyone train the way he trains. Like it's it's quite terrifying to be honest. <laughs> it's it's a lot, but that's what you need. You know what I mean? If you want to be a world champion and you truly, truly in your heart, heart believe that you're the best person out there, and no one can beat you. That's the way you need to train. You know, he tra- I've never seen anyone graft like that kid's grass you know what I mean and yeah he's grafting mate <laughs> how long have you he's been grafting. down at Matchroom now uh I think I went down there at the start of this year like in the January so not too long really but yeah loving it loving it and was part of their kind of proposal in in order for you to come down like we can get you this good contract etc like was that part of the selling to get you down the gym or um yeah a little bit but I was, I was just lucky to go down there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if, like, go down there and do two sessions, like, I've, you'd learn so much in them two sessions. Yeah. So I'm quite lucky to be able to be in the position I am, to be able to turn over down that gym and all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Couldn't couldn't write it better myself. <laughs> well, Repton and uh, Matchroom is a good, good two gyms to start. Uh, thanks yeah. for your time first time speaking. Uh, sorry about the Essex <laughs> quote, I'm guessing. Listen, yeah, I not won't anywhere take near there. <laughs> what did you say? You're not the first person. I won't take offence this time, but <laughs> say it again, then I might have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, yeah, uh, good luck with the future, the rest of the year, etc. And yeah, we'll catch up soon, I'm you. sure. Of course.